back with more ultu round for winners bracket with karen smith while black believing i'm regenerating over this and yeah we do see this as scarf lander because intimidate activates before terrible i'm pretty sure that's how it works uh, so lander can just u-turn out here uh, black oblivion is using a banned manaphy team this team was used in world cup um so there's a fusion and a toxapax because it's uh, kiram the set is known it's fusion bolt sub um sub zero slammer freeze shock and ice beam and yeah even if it's changed to elf power toxapax is just an easy pivot here to scout the kiram set in case he changed it um yeah, the muse fast ice beam on the team the lapani's a uh, copycat return fake out frustration the pex is i think with death with t-spikes Haze recovers Skull, the lander was Scarf, and the turn is like Magma Storm. I don't remember the entire moveset, but yeah, we will see later if Black Living changed some of the sets. Uh, yeah, he does the U-turn, gets some nice chip on the Kyurem, the Pex is gonna come out here. He goes for Fusion Bolt, um, gets an unfortunate crit here. Um, now Karen is gonna pivot into one of the Steel types, Majorna slash Magnezone, because... Um, it's pretty obvious that it doesn't have off power because if, it had, if he had off power, I think he would have gone for it to turn one to break the packs because he was intimidated anyway. So he goes on the landers, which was a really good play on Black Levine's part. It covers um, both of the steel types. Um, so the only the, the only problem for Black Levine here is if this is Shuka Majorna, it can kill the lander with Ice Beam and eat up an Earthquake. Um, so Black Levine might fear that and switch out into his Toxic Packs or his Heatran. But yeah, Karen just goes into Lando in case. Um, that was a really fire play. That covers uh, Black Alvin going for Earthquake. That covers uh, him going into Toxaplex. That covers him going into Heatran. That play covered all options. That was fire. So they exchange rocks. We do see it as a uh, Scarf Rocks Lando from Karen's uh, side. And Black Alvin also. Um, yeah, Black Alvin also gets that rocks and he changed that move. So we know Black Alvin changed the team. Um, it's not Scarf Lando anymore. So it might be Scarf Trend, is what I'm thinking. And. That's really interesting. I, mean, I haven't seen Scarf turn in forever, especially in Gen 7. Um, but yeah, Karen is locked into rocks, so this is a potential switch into Greninja, anticipating a HP Ice. A Black Oblivion might predict that and go for Earthquake. Um, Earthquake is pretty free here for Black Oblivion, actually, because um, Karen is locked in, and all the other five mons are um, grounded, so they get hit by Earthquake. But the, the thing is, uh, Heracross was just Earthquake. But it's not Mega yet, so it will still take a good chunk from the um, from Lando Earthquake. Um, regular Heracross is like pretty free. Like after Mega, it's get, it gets bulky. And yeah, I don't know which of the monsters the Z Move user yet on Karen's team. It could be potential Ash Greninja with um, Z Move, or it could be one of the Steel types as well. Um, there's the Earthquake. Obviously, makes a lot of sense. And yeah, this is either a Rock Plus for Karen Smith or a Double into Magnezone. A uh, Double into Magnezone covers the um, the switch into you know, Toxapex. Does Black Oblivion need his Mew Healthy? Let me look at the team real quick. Um, I guess he needs the Mew kind of healthy for the for the Lando, but his own Lando is uh, also kind of fine for the opposing Lando, unless Karen uh, has HPI. I mean, HP is a super common on Scarf Lando. Yeah, I'm thinking this. Yeah, yeah I'm thinking this Lando's HP is off quick rocks and U-turn on current side, um, because since there's a Toxapex that walls out wide, this Lando, the Scarf Lando doesn't have to have a Stone Edge. So yeah, Black Oblivion is probably forced into Toxapex because, like, since the opposing Lando will also have HP is. He cannot rely on his Lando to check the opposing Lando, and I think he needs his Mew Healthy for the opposing Lando, so he's only switching his Toxapex here, and I think it will avoid a 2-hit KO from Rock Blast. But yeah, Karen makes a fire double into Magnus Zone. Uh, we do see this Toxapex doesn't have Black Sludge, shows either Shed Shell or some Resist Berry, we're not sure about that yet. Now if Karen goes for an attack, we will um, be able to tell if it's um, like if it's um, a damage boosting item, and that's definitely Choice Specs, goes for a Volt Switch on the Mew there. That is a fuckload. Um, this uh, Greninja probably has Dark Pulse, uh, the way Karen brought it out, so I guess it's Ash. Or Battle Bond is what I should say. Uh, so yeah, Black Oblivion obviously goes on Toxapex, that was his best play, you don't want to give the Greninja the Battle Bond. And we do see that it's not Specs damage, so it's most likely um, Z-Move Greninja. Um, what would be really cool is a Black Lord Eclipse Greninja with some... Like, if you bring Toxapex in, like, a bit lower, Black Lord Eclipse will blow it away and you will get the Ash on a would be fire. But yeah, Karen can go for a Spike here. I'm not 100% sure why. Um, I think Black Oblivion went into Heatran, predicting um, one of the two Steel types. The, the Magnezone could have came out in a Toxapex um, on a Recover, so I think he predicted 
the magnets on there went in the heat run but it didn't work out for him at all Karen just got up a spike so even if even if he scarfed when he cannot kill the Greninja from this range so uh, it is a tough position for um, Black Oblivion because uh, with the hazards up I don't know if he can even switch into Toxic Packs he just goes for off power he scarfed run he gets some damage on a Greninja and yeah now they have the Ash form and this is a big threat to Black Oblivion's team uh, Lopani can just go for frustration here. I'm pretty sure Lopani is faster than Ashkun. It's like 135 base speed, and Ashkun is 132. And uh, how the mega th the mecha mega mechanic how it works in Gen 7 is you get the speed immediately when you mega evolve on the first turn. So yeah, I can see uh, Karen going to Landris because um, this Lopani doesn't have Ice Punch on the original team. So unless he changed it, Landris can take a frustration. It's still at full, and he has Intimidate. So even though it's offensive land, it will take it quite well. And then Karen can just U-turn out, and if Black Oblivion switches, Karen gets momentum. Uh, if Black Oblivion stays in, Karen can just go into Toxapex, because Intimidated Lopani will probably get walled easily by Toxapex. So yeah, free U-turn for Karen, Black Oblivion goes into Landris. Um, this is another free switch into um, Ash Greninja. I'm not 100% sure if Dark Pulse kills from this range. But yeah, Karen can run the Kalk, and then depending on that, the side if Dark Pulse or Hydro Pump is to play. Um, Z move might also be a, an option here for Karen because the Greninja is at 26, uh, percent which means it only has one more switch in the rocks. Karen has no hazard control, so this Greninja is not going to be coming in that more often. So like using Z move here wouldn't be the end of the world. Um, Z move even if it's the Hydro Vortex, um, it does around the same to Toxapex than Dark Pulse does, so it might two it KO. If Fires of Hyper Vortex doesn't want to like risk doubles not killing the Lando, and also there's like it was completely fine play. I just explained why. Uh, the 37, so doubles might be a roll to kill this pack. here. Black Oblivion is gonna try to go for recover here. And yeah, if Pex dies here, he has to go to Lopani after to um, scare out the Greninja, and Karen can then. Sack, sack either one of the steel types or the Heracross to the um, Lopani. But yeah, Karen has more sacks and every like every time Ashgren comes in, Kanza gets a kill. Um, oh, it doesn't kill. Wow, but Karen gets the flinch. That sucks for sure. Um, Black Oblivion got a crit early on the packs, but to be fair, that crit didn't matter that much. Um, this crit, this, uh, this flinch is like super annoying for Black Oblivion. And now he has to sack either his Mew or his Toxapex. Um, Toxapex is gonna be super low even if it gets regen. Uh, for, like it switches out, it gets regen, but it's gonna be super low because of the hazards anyway, and it doesn't have black sludge. But yeah, Mew doesn't do much at this point. Um, it dies to pretty much everything, so I assume Black Oliven is gonna sack the Mew here, keep the packs alive, and then go into Lopani, scare the Greninja out. Okay, so we do know that this is the Z-Move user, the man is on the spec, so the Majorna is either Shuka or Lefty. Mm -hmm. Was it revealed? I don't think the Majorna item was revealed yet. I, I'm actually, like, I think Megalopony is really cool, and it's like, I don't want, I don't know if underrated is the correct term to, like, to use, but like, Megalopony with Toxic Spikes is really cool, and like, Toxic Spikes, they run Spadev at the moment, so like, you do a lot to them with Frustration if you get up Hazards, especially. So he's just gonna click Return, or Frustration is what I should say here, get this kill. Okay, Fake Out. The reason why he clicked Fake Out is he didn't want to take Water Shuriken because the Greninja is not Choice Locked, but it makes a lot of sense uh, for Karen to keep the Greninja alive. It kinda gets a kill every time it comes in. Uh, that's the Scarf Lando is gonna click off quick here, I assume. No, no, U turn, U turn is a fine play. U turn is a fine play. Because uh, Karen has a Pex in the back. I uh, already talked about this earlier. Pex was Lopani with Intimidate up for sure, even if it's Spedex. Spedev. Uh, so Dark Pulse kills from this range. There's a free Dark Pulse. Um, Black Olivian can obviously not switch into Lopani. Because uh, there's Hazard up, and even though it resists Dark Pulse, like you kinda need. Oh, he goes for Water Shrink. Oh, uh, yeah, Water Shrink was a fine play, I guess. But I think Dark Pulse. I think that would have been fine. Uh, it did work out. I don't think it made a big difference. So yeah, he's gonna fake out again if he doesn't want to take uh, water shrink. Makes sense. And frustration probably doesn't kill the packs. I think it has around 38. Maybe may yeah, something like 38 to packs if it likes the death packs. Um, so Karen can go for recover here. And unless Black Oblivion changed this to Power Punch, he doesn't have, like, like, like Lopani is not going to be able to do enough damage to the packs. He goes into the Curum here, and 
Does Karen need this pack? Is my question. Um, it's nice for the Lopani to be honest. There's the substitute. Um, goes for toxic. Okay, okay. So yeah, Pax is not able to break this up, but Kyurem only has seven fusion bolts. So like, it's gonna run out of fusion bolts. Um, but yeah, I can also see Karen sacking the Greninja here. Greninja might die to rocks depending on Shodan. Like it's a 30, but Shodan likes to round down. I think rocks do like 12.5%. Was it 12.5 or was it 12.25? But yeah, if the Gren dies to rocks, then um, sacking the Gren might be fine here. And then going to land, the clicking off quick, breaking the sub. Okay, it goes Magnezone. Um, Sub-Zero Slammer is going to kill something here. That's the Sub-Zero Slammer. Magnezone says goodbye. Um, obviously doesn't have off power, already talked about this. And um, I think U-turn is a roll to break the sub, so Karen is gonna earthquake. Black Lovin can just ice beam here. Oh he freeze shocked, what? Okay, the Greninja could live rocks. Um I'm kinda why did Karen not earthquake again? Karen didn't wanna Oh okay, I, I get why Karen went for that play, because now Majuna gets to set up. And yeah, Majuna just wins the game. So that play made sense. My bad. Mm -hmm. For a second, that was like, why not just off quick again? But yeah, second Greninja and then setting up with Majuna on Kyurem was completely fine. Unless you get frozen there or like some other sort of hacks. Um, this outspeeds everything. Flash can kills Lopani and yeah. Like even like it has like two soul heart boosts after it kills the Lopani. Landers will also die. It doesn't even need Ice Beam. But yeah, this game is over. Faker does no damage. We see it's a lefty shift gear. Um, yeah, Majuna showing what's busted here at the end of the game. But yeah, after Pex was dead um, and Mew was dead, um, Majuna is a big threat to this team. I mean, even if Mew is still alive, Majuna kind of sets up on Mew anyway. Because this Mew, I think, has only Ice Beam and Wisp to touch this Majuna. You need like Earthquake on Mew to do decent uh, damage to Majuna. But yeah, I'll be uh, r back later with game two. I hope you guys all enjoyed. Uh, Karen is up 1-0 in winner's bracket. And let's see if Black Oblivion can bring it back in game 2 and if we will get a decide in game 3 or if Karen will take the series 2 and 0. Peace out, blop.